I've been using Blender for over five years, even before 2.8 was released. Throughout these years, I've learned a lot, and in this video, I'm going to share 20 plus Blender tips and tricks that will improve and optimize your renders. Let's start with some camera tips. You can recreate this type of effect in Blender. It is known as swirl effect, and you need a special lens for that. But Blender has this option by default, change the lens type to panoramic, and change the ratio to two. This effect is already in my starter pack, which has a free version. You can get the premium to unlock its full potential. You can adjust the exposure by going into the properties and selecting the color management tab. While you might already know how to change the exposure, you can also animate it by keyframing this value. The cinematic ratio is 2.39 by 1. This refers to 1920 by 803. Just change the resolution in the output tab and you will get these black bars. Before we dive into post-production and compositing tricks, let me introduce you to the Cinematic Starter Pack. This pack includes camera, lights, effects, and compositor presets designed to elevate your renders to the next level. Try out the free version to explore its features and upgrade to the premium version to unlock its full potential. Most of you forget to color grade your renders. It is the secret sauce that makes your render look great. My starter pack has a color grade node, which will improve your renders. You can also do it in any video editing software. I've included a link to my free color grade presets in the description for you. You can add life to your renders. Sound effects will improve your animations. You can do that in Blender, but I am going to use an external software. The concept is the same. Try to find sound effects that are related to your render. Now, if you can't find something relatable, just add heartbeat or breathing sound in the background. You can also add some final touches to your renders in the compositor. If you have my starter pack, just drag these two nodes and you are good to go. If you don't have it, add a glare node, change it to fog glow. Add a lens distortion and change these value to something low. Let's dive into some general tricks. You can create this wiggle effect in the bones. Select the two bones, press Control plus Shift plus C. Do this to every bone except the base one. Select all the bones and change this value to 0.5. Right click and copy to select it. Never use plain background lighting if you are rendering glass. Use an HDRI. It creates realistic reflections. You can use the ambient occlusion node to create edges like these. And it also works if any other mesh interacts with it. It's a very effective node if you know where to use it. You can copy any object location and rotation. Just enable this add-on. Now, when you press Control plus C, there will be new options. Select two objects and press Copy Location. Do the same for the rotation and scale. This really helps out a lot. You can also transfer modifiers, materials, and more by pressing Control plus L. The active object properties will be transferred to other objects that are selected. You can use videos and mesh plane to recreate any complex effect. You can create ocean with this technique. Just find a video of an ocean, add a mesh plane, 
and select the video. Add subdivisions. Connect this into displacement. Add color ramps to adjust it. This can be different for other videos and images, but the concept will be same. You can create heat distortion in Blender. Just add a plane and add a refraction shader. Add these three nodes and plug them like these. Change the strength to something low and change the noise to 4D so you can animate the W value. You can make your animations endless. Just select the keyframes and press Shift plus E and select Linear Extrapolation. Mix Shader node do not work while mixing the displacement. What you can do is add a Mix Color node before the displacement. The concept is the same as the Mix Shader node. You can quickly render a clay version. Just add a cube and create a clay material and hide the cube. Go in this tab and under Material Override, select the clay material and you are good to go. One final tip before we dive into optimization tricks. Try to use as many add-ons and assets that you can find online. This will improve your workflow. It's not necessary to make everything from scratch. You can create an optimized mesh of your object. Just duplicate it and use a decimate modifier. Change this value to something low. You can parent it with the original and disable it in viewport and uncheck the decimate one for rendering. This will improve your viewport and you can also make simulations faster. You can render glass faster with the help of the light path node. Add a mix shader and transparent node. Connect it like this. Add a light path node and connect it into the factor. This is already in my starter pack, so if you have that, just drag it out. You will improve your portfolio. When you will start rendering animation, you can use cloud rendering for that. There are a lot of free options. I have mentioned one in the description, so go check it out. You can decrease your render output size and improve the quality by exporting it in OpenEXR. Change it to half float and select the second last option here. Use this for animations only. You can use JPEG for still renders. Just change this slider. Make sure to check out the cinematic starter pack and get the premium version to unlock its full potential. Thanks for watching till the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram.